the fact that the alliance has not only weathered this crisis, but emerged bigger, stronger, more united than ever, is in no small part because of Ambassador Smith's leadership. There is no one I would rather have, and more important, the President would rather have representing the United States in this place at this time than Julie Smith. Thank you. None of us could have hoped for a greater champion for this alliance uh, than Jens Stoltenberg. Um, no one could have done a better job holding us together when others were trying to divide us. No one could have done a better job really carrying the alliance forward. And Jens, we've all said it in different ways at different times, but it always bears repeating. We're so grateful for your leadership. Thank you. Secretary Blinken, dear Tony, Ambassador Smith, dear Julia, thank you so much for hosting us all here tonight. Um, uh, the United States left Europe after the First World War. That was not a big success. So therefore, I'm glad that after the Second World War, the United States uh, decided to stay. Stay with their forces, stay with their troops, and not only that, but also to underpin the transatlantic bond with the Marshall aid, uh, with the big economic, economic program to underpin the transatlantic bond. Then, what we will do tomorrow is to celebrate, but we will also do uh, what has actually made this alliance a success, and that is to focus on how can we continue to adapt. Because the only reason why we are the most successful alliance in history is uh, for two reasons. One, our unity, and second, that we have been able to change when the world is changing. So therefore, we need to prepare for the upcoming NATO summit in uh, July, where we once again are going to celebrate, but also going to demonstrate our ability to take the necessary decisions, to demonstrate our unity, and to ensure that we stand together. Because I cannot tell you exactly what the next crisis or the next conflict or the next war will be. But what I can tell you is that regardless of what the next crisis will be, we will be safe as long as we stand together, North America and Europe, in NATO.